Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here from Woodwork Web. Today our project is building a little sitting bench just like this. This is an easy project that anyone can build and we have the plans and we'll have the full video that takes you through step by step of what it takes to build this little sitting bench. Now these little sitting benches are very popular they're because they're very handy. You can fit these into many, many different situations. The bench we're going to build is an indoor bench. And there's no difference between an indoor bench and an outdoor bench except for the type of wood that you're going to use. If you're going to use an outdoor bench, you typically want something like teak or some kind of a cedar, a red cedar or a yellow cedar, because you want something that's going to resist rot. For an indoor bench, you can use anything, red oak, white oak, maple, all sorts of different woods. Our bench only consists of a few parts. The legs, and they're all one piece, the top of course, the seat, and a couple of rails on each side. That's all it takes to put this together. Now our bench was put together without the use of any nails or screws. This is only held together with glue and that's the process we're going to do for this project. If you want you can use nails or screws along with the glue to hold it together. But we think once you see the system of gluing that you'll want to try that as well. The thing of course we need to do is to get some lumber for our project. So we're going off to a local mill who mills all sorts of different varieties and some of the, the wood that they mill there they actually farm from, from local residences that they get trees that have fallen down, trees that have been diseased. So we can get all sorts of different varieties. We're not stuck with the commercial varieties that you might find in a typical lumber store. It depends on the kind of wood that you want. Uh, we're going to be wide open. We're going to be looking more for interesting kinds of wood. So let's go and see what we can get. I'm just back from the mill now and we've got a lovely selection of wood something called Cedar of Lebanon. I was lucky to pick up some three-quarter inch and some rough cut two inch in the same wood. So this is actually going to save me gluing the legs together. So that will save me one step. If you can buy some two inch, you too can save that gluing step. Otherwise you'll have to glue two three-quarter inch pieces together. That's perfect. Now we'll let that glue set up. Right. All laid out on the clamps now. I'm just going to put glue on each side, on each piece and start assembling them.
There, we'll let those harden overnight and we'll start cutting the feet tomorrow. The bench that we're building calls for a one inch hole in the upper third of the leg. And that's really just to add some attraction to the leg so that when we cut these, this V in here, that there's something to ease that into. So we're going to go ahead with our existing legs and mark this hole and these two lines so that we can cut them this on the the hole on the drill press and we'll cut the V's on the bandsaw. The last thing we need to do is to cut the aprons or the stretchers for the legs and with one of the extra boards that I that we picked up from the mill I'm now going to cut that in half and then we'll cut the 45 degree angles on each side. We'll cut the, the stretcher to length and we'll cut the 45 degree angles on it. Our bench is all dry now. We'll take the clamps off and get ready for finishing. I gave our project its second coat yesterday and did it ever turn out nice? Have a look at this. <laughs>